Next, let's look at problem 14. It says solve for y. zy plus 2 equals 3y plus x. So what solve for y means is get the y alone on one side, and then the other side will have the other stuff. It'll have an x, a z, and some numbers. This is tricky because there's a y on both sides. So first, let's move one y over. So I'm going to subtract 3y from both sides. So this 3y and this negative 3y cancel each other out. And on the left-hand side, we'll have zy minus 3y plus 2, and it's all equal to x. And from here, I'll subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. These two are going to cancel out right here, which gives me zy minus 3y on the left equals x minus 2 on the right. Now we have all the y's on the left-hand side, but we needed it to be a single y. Well, the way we do that is we're going to factor a y out. So y times what gives us zy, that's z. And then y times what gives us negative 3y, that's negative 3. And this is still equal to x minus 2. And now we have what we wanted, a single y on this side. So if we just divide both sides by z minus 3, these are going to cancel here. And we end up with y equals x minus 2 over z minus 3. So that's what we were trying to do is get y by itself. So I'm going to put this in a box and let's check the answer. It's y equals x minus 2 over z minus 3. So we got it right. If you want to try more of these, I have this page on andymath.com called isolating a variable. And it's the same idea. You just want to get a certain variable alone. And all these have answers. If you want to try them out, here's the link right here. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.